What is up, YouTube? This is Fresh Cakes 23 checking in once again with another video. Now, as you guys can see, we have two different boxes of Yeezy Boost 350 V2, and this video right here will be a how to tell the difference between the real and fake Yeezy 350 V2 Belugas. Now, this video right here will be a comparison between the fake and real pair, so let's get into it. Now, before we start off, I just gotta say to you guys, I did not buy the fake pair. I bought a real pair through PayPal, and the guy sent me fake, so I'm getting my money back. So I just thought this video would be informative for you guys that want to know how to tell the difference between real and fake. So let's begin. First off, you guys can see we have the two boxes. Now, you guys can see by the tag that they're a little bit different. Not a big difference. That's pretty hard to tell. It just they're positioned in like a little different way. Um, like this sticker right here is pretty much straight. This one's kind of crooked. Um, that won't be a pretty big giveaway. But also like the cut of the sticker. We have the real pair on the bottom, the fake pair on the top. You have like the, the barcode thicker on the real pair, and also like the way it's cut. This one has a bigger sticker. Also, I don't know if you guys can notice, but the shade of black on the lettering. Is darker on the fake pair than on the real pair and I'll show you guys for the top as well on the 350 for the real pair it's kind of lighter than the fake pair let's see if I can get a side-by-side -side of the fakes no I can't get it but I'll show you guys from the boost part it says so you guys can see this is the real pair fake pair fake pair usually has darker writing than the real pair on the box and you can also see from the other side that the real pair on top has a lighter writing. So that's a pretty big giveaway. Also, another giveaway, when I first saw these shoes was this thing right here, this extra flap. I mean, it's supposed to be inside or something, but it came like this, so that was, like, kind of weird. The uh, fake boxes are made flimsier, so, like, they're more damaged. Like, as you guys can see right here, it's, like kind of ripping easier this is pretty firm nice and clean the real pair it just it's just a stronger box this one looks like it's gonna rip right now but also you have a sticker right here on the fake pair now let's get into the shoes themselves the part you guys been waiting for so let me take out a pair from the real There are different sizes, like the fake pair I got was a size 10 and the other one size 11, so it, it might be a little bit different in size, but that's not what we're here to talk about, we're here to talk about the differences. So first off, you guys can see the orange looks almost exactly the same. Uh, let's see if I can get in closer. It looks like this pair is a little bit less orange like than this pair, this pair is a little bit darker. The real pair is a little bit darker. That's what I think based on looking at them. Yeah, the, the real pair looks a little bit more red than the fake pair. Um, let's see what else. Also, on the back, dead giveaway right here. This is a fake pair. You guys can see it's not even straight. It's crooked as hell. This is pretty bad fake. I could tell it was fake right away when I saw it. The real pair, everything nice and neat, straight cut of the shoe. Looks a lot better. Also, the overlapping of the midsole on the real pair it's a really clean cut and like uh, glued on on the fake pair you guys can see right here that's a very uneven cut of the shoe also on the bottom you have a difference in the shade of this, the bottoms the shade of the outsoles so for the real pair which is on top you guys can see that it is a little bit lighter also the boost is a dead giveaway like you just gotta feel the boost on the fake pair it's really firm and sturdy on the real pair you could really squish it it's a lot more squishier just take them side by side and feel the difference that's pretty easy to do also on the fake pair right here near the toe box area you have like that darker shade i don't know if you guys can see but look at that right there the different change in color while this one's pretty smooth and the adidas it's pretty different 
yeah, it is. So you guys can, I don't know if you guys can see, but this part where it says Adidas is a little bit dented on the fake pair. And also, like, doesn't stand out as much as the real pair where you guys could clearly read this. The one that I saw first right when I took the shoes out was the back. Now, the back of the real pair, it's a lot thinner than the back of the fake pair also. The real pair, as you guys can see, let me take out the laces right here. You have that curved inner lining while the fake pair, it looks like it's flat as a hamburger. Just a really bad giveaway that the fakes need to work on. But hopefully they don't. I hate fakes. But look, you guys can see. I know you guys can tell which one's real, which one's fake. The one, the thinner um, inner lining back tab or cushion on the back is obviously right there. The shades of gr of green on the three stripes is a little bit different. Um, the green is a little bit darker on the real pair than on the fake pair. That's another comparison right there. Also, what I've noticed is that the laces now the laces are also a little bit darker on the real pair than on the fake pair this is the real one right here I switched the side and this is the fake one with the flat back pull tab or whatever it's called that's fake that's real different shades of laces another difference is that the stripes on near the toe box area is like fading in less on the real pair you guys can see right there it's like mostly orange right here it's mostly gray it just like cut off too early the fading in that's a pretty big giveaway as you guys can see the difference this one right here is the real pair and then the fake is like fading in like that some real pairs do have a slight factory flaw and fade in a little bit before the they fade in a little bit before the end where the toe box is but they don't fade this much where you could clearly see the difference now also this uh, right here the stitching coming down the middle of the shoe on the real pair it's really like uh, firm and like tied on while the fake pair like if I just run my fingers down I could like feel it move I don't know if you guys can see on camera but it's moving also Another thing I saw, which is a little bit harder to tell, is the toe box. Well, you guys can obviously see that it's a different color, but also the cut of the toe box is a little bit different. This fake pair right here, it's kind of uh, diagonal. It's, it's not straight, and also it's a little bit higher than the toe box on the real pair. And also the shape of the shoe, the shape of the toe box. Let's see if you guys can see here. The real pair is on the bottom. You guys can see that this is a little bit more squared right here while this is a nice smooth curve. Another thing I saw is that the fake pair, which is this one in my hand, usually does not come with the sticker inside right here. And on the real pair, it comes with the sticker on this side. You guys can see that. Most Adidas uh, like recent shoes like NMDs, Ultra Boost, they come with this sticker inside. I don't know what it's for, but they usually come with it. Also, the fake pair has this inner part right here under the tongue. This is supposed to be like some suede. The fake pair, it's like really like rough. It's, it doesn't even have like a suede texture. While the real pair has like a really smooth suede going down right there. So, check the insides, check the outsides, look through everything. Also, another thing is if you have a, pair, a real pair and a fake pair, like if you bought a real pair and you got a fake pair, you can always like compare them and feel the difference. Like the real pair, you guys can feel the texture on the prime knit while the fake pair, it's not even prime knit, you guys you can just like, it, it feels pretty rough. And another thing which isn't a dead giveaway is the gluing. Now the gluing on the fake pair which I have in my hand. It's like a little bit worse. You guys can see it's like there's a glue stain right there, right there. Um, yeah, you. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's some glue stains like around here, and there's no glue stains on the real pair, as you guys can 
see here. Now another thing I forgot to mention was that the back, not only is the back tab different, but also the shape of the back. Like as you guys can see, the fake pair is a lot wider than the real pair. The real pair has like a really thin, um, nice cut right here or curve, and then the fake pair is like really wide. Like you have that really flat back of the shoe, and also the boost wording on the bottom is a different color it might only be mine but the fake pair right here has a darker boost as you guys can see than the, than the other one like you could read the real pair a lot better now the last two things i want to mention is that the these um circles with the lines on the boost they have them on i think all the yeezys on the boost part on the bottom you have like these small lines segment of lines on the fake pair you could just like you could barely feel them while on the real pair you could really here i'll get closer up i think you guys could see right there you see these lines right here so this is a real pair you could like really feel them and then on the fake pair you can barely even feel them but they're still there also another thing many of you think is that if it has a cross on the bottom like with the lines like that one there one there and goes down the middle then it's real but that's not always the case because it's a fake pair and it has it and then my real pair that I bought from Adidas doesn't have that it might be because of the size like some sizes don't some sizes do because I know I have another pair of these in a size 4 that I bought from Shoe Palace and those had a cross going down I don't know why this one didn't so that's not always going to be authentic if it has that cross and that's pretty much it for this comparison hope you guys enjoy if you did make sure to leave a thumbs up subscribe to this channel new videos every week hopefully it wasn't informative so that's pretty much it thank you guys for watching this is fresh kicks 23 and we're out